Look, look at the two legends that I came. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Continuing coverage of MegaCon 2023. I've got another legend in the industry, Mr. Frank Thierry. Nice to meet you, sir. Hello, sir. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How's the con been for you so far? Not too bad. Not too yeah. bad. A lot of people here today. Yeah, a lot, always a lot of people at yeah. MegaCon. Uh, it's been it's been 15 years since I've been to one of these. Like okay. doing interviews. 15 years since you've been to a con? No, no, no. 15 years since I've been to one of these doing interviews. Oh, okay. Uh, it's been 10 years since I've been to a con. Okay. 2013, I, I stopped going to conventions for a long time. Uh, mostly because I was working in a comic shop and I couldn't you know, couldn't leave on the weekends. Because the owner wants to leave on the weekends. So. And also, yeah. you didn't want to, you know, yeah. do this shit every day and, <laughs> and yeah, still come I mean, to the cons and shit. You know, it's fun <laughs> once in a while, but it does get a little exhausting doing it sure. all the time. How many conventions a year do you usually do? Uh, it depends. I mean, normally about 10, I guess, 10, yeah. 15, uh, before, mainly before COVID hit. But, right. You know, since then, maybe some less, you know, but I'm still figuring out my con schedule for this year. Excellent. And uh, do you always try to hit this one, or MegaCon is one of the ones I, I normally do. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, what uh, what are you working on currently? What is what is your current gig? Currently, I'm doing this book right here. Uh, Holly screws up the DCU. Nice. Uh, the basic concept behind this one is Harley inherits a time machine, and Harley being Harley, right? She uses it, goes back in time. And when she comes back, she finds that Star of the Conqueror has taken over the world. Uh oh. The reason being is when Harley went back in time, she accidentally screwed up all the origins of the DC heroes. So when Star Wars showed up, yeah. nobody was here. So uh, to nobody stop it, nobody had to stop him. Yes. Yeah. So now she wow. has to go back in time and fix all the origins that she screwed up. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome, uh, and of course you got the tales of Mother F Goose. Yes, uh, that, that that came out a little while ago. Yep. Yeah. Now, will there be more of those? Because I know that a lot of people really enjoyed that. Yeah, book. we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that that was a really fun book to do. You know what I mean? Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Uh, fairy tales, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah. Taking taking the concept, kind of turning it on his ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. Little, little bit of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So, how did you get into comics? Like, what was your the, the thing that like made you say, you know what, this is what I want to do? I was an intern at um, for Marvel. Okay. Uh, actually, for Bob Harris back in the day when he was editor in chief. Right. Um, and that's how I started. Uh, and then I started. Uh, eventually, I was on staff at Marvel. Yeah. I worked for um, Marvel.com as an editor and head writer, uh, also doing some artwork. And um, I kept pitching all, all along, and uh, I got uh, the Wolverine gig. And then after that, yeah, man. I wrote. Uh, Iron Man with Joe Quesada and everything took off after that. That's awesome, man. I remember that Wolverine uh, run. I was getting, I was actually getting Wolverine in the mail. Yeah. So it was, it was some fun stuff, man. You were, how many, how many issues of Wolverine did you write? Because I don't I remember know. I don't remember the exact them. issues. It was, it was like yeah. three, three years, something like that. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what's uh, what's your favorite thing that you have worked on so far? It's all good. Everything I write is good. So. <laughs> it's all and good. Modest too, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, no one claimed that. But <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I, I look. You know, there's th different things I've worked on. I've, sure. you know, uh, everything has. You know, you have your, your, your things you like, things you like less. But well, sure. It's but all I mean, part of. It's a work in comics, right? You get to yeah. have fun. It could be digging ditches. So you know, it could be worse, I've, right? I've, I've done that. I've also done roofing. I don't, don't recommend yeah, it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. Want it. <laughs> it's, it's not my thing. So, so uh, what's upcoming for you? What do you got coming up next? Uh, the next thing we just announced was uh, Godzilla Here There Be Dragons. Nice. Which is uh, basically uh, IDW and Toho, they wanted to do a historical okay. uh, take on Godzilla. And um, so I thought the idea of what if it was a uh, lost ver voyage of Sir Francis Drake. Right. So you know. Okay. So we're talking historical, historical. Historical, oh, okay. historical. Very yes, cool. yes, right. yes. So right. it's uh, pirates and Godzilla. You know. Uh, Hell yeah. The mast and all Who that shit. Want to see that? Yeah, exactly. Like, can a cannonball even you know hurt Godzilla? Yeah, no. The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. Long story short, no. No. But, but it'll be fun to watch them try. Well, he's looking for buried treasure, and you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's you have to basically navigate Godzilla. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's incredible, man. Uh, what about uh, creator-owned stuff? Are you doing any more uh, any more independent stuff? I, I, I am. Uh, stuff that hasn't been announced yet. I've okay. been working with some companies that I haven't worked with before. Okay. But uh, yeah, expect those announcements soon. Very cool, man. 
Uh, let's see. And if you were going to give any kind of uh, advice to somebody that's trying to break into the industry, whether it be a writer or an artist, what would you what would you recommend? Don't just use comics as a reference. No. Use everything as a reference. Use uh, movies. Use uh, TV. Use uh, books. Use uh, real life. You know what I mean? Just take. Don't just ape what someone's doing in a comic book. You know? Absolutely. Uh, not as an artist though, or as a writer. So you know. Yeah. I mean, you gotta you gotta pull from all the stuff that pull you're from, into. Pull from pull from everything. Yeah. Pull from everything. And uh, what was uh, what was like the one comic? I mean, if there is one, like what uh, what is your favorite thing that you've read, like in the last I don't know ten years? Something that really stood out to you. Uh, Trying to think. Last ten years? Last ten years. I mean, I tried to give you a wide swath. Uh, yeah, from, yeah, you know. yeah. Well, uh, let me think. Um, I like to ask the hard questions. Yeah, exactly. Now yeah. you're stumping me. I'm gonna put you on the spot here. <laughs> um, trying to think. I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, it's all right, man. Yeah. And I do this. I do this to my guests online as well. Like I'll have them come to yeah, the interview. Yeah, you, you, you ruined the about. interview. You fucked right, up right. the interview now. You know what I mean? This is a casual <laughs> interview anyway. You know. Ain't no fucking it up. This is, this is all natural, all real. That's how we roll around here, baby. Um, I uh, watch me. Yeah. Watch me. I, I read it recently. Read it again. It's it's probably my favorite still, book. Yeah, yeah it's it still holds up. It, it always holds up. Yeah. Uh, Dave Dave Gibbons, man, did some amazing stuff on yeah. there. You know, absolutely. Well, Frank, thanks thank you so much, man. I appreciate the interview. And you, Maniacs, I will see you next video.